name is Natasha Nana. In this tutorial, you will learn how to create a Facebook page. Facebook is a social network used for connecting with old friends as well as meeting new friends. With this network, you can share photos, videos, as well as thoughts. First, you must create a Facebook profile so that you can add friends and family to interact with. Before we get started, please make sure you have a working email address, then go to Facebook.com. If you need time to do this, please pause this video. To get started, go to the left of the screen where it says sign up. Here you will fill out a short list of facts about yourself. This includes first and last name. This also includes your email address. This will be needed later. Now, you have to enter your email address twice just to verify that it's correct. You also need to choose a password. Make this something you can remember, like an address, a birthday, something simple like that. Now you'll need to select your gender and your birthday. Then you'll press the sign up button at the bottom and it'll take you to your next page. On this page you'll have to type in a CAPTCHA to make sure that you're a human being. If you can't understand what the CAPTCHA says, just click to pick another capture. When you're done, click the green sign up button. Your Facebook page is almost created. The funny having Facebook is having friends. You should now be on a page that has three steps. The first steps give you a chance to invite friends from your email addresses. You would simply type your email address into one of the offer sites and if you have friends on your email that also use Facebook, they will be invited to be your friend. However, let's skip that step for now. You'll have plenty of time for adding friends on your own. Go down to the right and press the step, skip this step button. Now you should be on step two. This step helps you develop your profile. You'll be asked to name your high school, your college, and your employer. Now notice, as you start to type, the computer will give you options you can choose from to save you some time. Once that step is complete, you can press the save and continue button. Remember, this step can be skipped, or if one or more fields do not apply to you, just skip them. Step 2 continues by giving you a list of people that you may know based off the information that you provided. If you know any of these people, click the Add as a Friend button. Or you can just skip this step. You can either press Skip or Save and Continue to go to the next page. You will now see a page that says Step 3. This step will allow you to edit a picture so that people can see your face, logo, or whatever else you decide your profile picture to be. This will be the first picture people see when they go onto your page, so choose wisely. You have two options, either upload a photo or take a photo with your webcam. For this tutorial, let's upload from the computer. When you see this window open, you want to press the browse button. Then you want to find a picture in your desktop that you like. So I think I'll go with this one. You double click the photo and it will begin to upload. Okay, now the picture is uploaded. Once the picture uploads, you have options. If you don't like it, you can upload another photo or take a photo. And if you do like it, well, you can save and continue. But remember, just like any other step, this step can be skipped. 
Now, this is one of the most important parts. Now that you have your Facebook, you must go log into your email address that we talked about earlier and verify it. So I'll give you a minute or two to go log into your email address. If you need more time that I provide, please pause the video and resume when you're ready. Okay, when you open your email, you'll see a message from Facebook with the subject, just one more, just one more step to get started on Facebook. Let's click the message to open it. Once you open the message, you'll be instructed to click on a link and you will also be provided with a confirmation code. Jot this down somewhere. You may or may not need it. Double left click the link. After clicking the link, you'll be redirected to Facebook and should see a pop-up message saying that your Facebook account is confirmed. Okay, a few more things. Up here in the top left corner, next to the word Facebook, you'll see three icons. The first icon is your friend request. You click on this, it'll show you who wants to be a friend and you can either confirm or ignore the request. The next icon is for your messages. This is where you can compose and receive all messages. And this last one is your notifications. Anytime someone comments on a picture, video, or status that has something to do with you, you will be notified. Okay, now let's go to the top right of the screen and click Home. This is the page where you'll be able to see all your friends' posts about statuses, videos, photos, or whatever else they might like to share. Let's get your page started with the status. Now you come to the bottom and you press share. This will make your status public for all your friends to see. Well, now you have a Facebook page of your own. You can change things whenever you want. You can upload pictures, videos, music. Just explore and have fun with it. Now get to searching and find some of your friends on Facebook. Thanks for watching. I hope I helped.